Brothers and sisters, our time of confession and assurance come from Romans chapter 1, verses 16 to 23. In it, we read these words written by the Apostle Paul under the inspiration of the Spirit. He says, I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes, first to the Jew, then to the Gentile. For in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith from first to last, just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. The wrath of God that is being revealed from heaven against all the godlessness and wickedness of human beings who suppress the truth by their wickedness, since what may be known about God is plain to them because God has made it plain to them. For the, since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that people are without excuse. For although they knew God, they neither glorified him as God nor gave thanks to him, but their thinking became futile and their foolish hearts were darkened. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images made to look like mortal human beings and birds and animals and reptiles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, this confession and assurance, as it were, comes in a reverse order. Paul talks first about the assurance, the, the beauty and wonder and awesomeness of the salvation offered in Jesus Christ, which is why he is not ashamed of the gospel. And then he brings us back and, and, and reminds us and shows us why that salvation is necessary. Because we, like the people that Paul is talking about here, were lost. We were foolish. We, we constructed gods in the images of men or animals or whatever. And we worshipped them. And, and let us not be fooled by the thought that somehow we don't make idols for ourselves anymore. We do. They maybe don't have the, the form of humans or, or animals or, or whatever. We don't have a shrine with, with sculptured idols in our rooms or in our houses, perhaps. But we do worship an awful lot of things, money and power and sex and greed and so many things. So let us come to God in confession and also to hear his assurance. Father in heaven, we confess, O oh God, that before we received your salvation, we too were dark and foolish in our thoughts. We too idolized the things of this world. And we recognize, O oh God, that we are constantly being tempted back into that world. We are constantly being tempted to put other things, other people, even ourselves, in your place, O oh God. Thank you for forgiving us in bringing your Son to sacrifice for us and in bringing us into your salvation. Please forgive us for where we have fallen to temptation and where we have worshipped things other than you, O oh God. Lord, please, through your Spirit, 
open up our hearts and minds as we take a moment of silent prayer. Lord, reveal to us where we have sought to put anything above you in our hearts and minds. Lord, thank you for hearing our prayers and for working through your Spirit to reclaim us as your children in our words and in our deeds, just as Jesus reclaimed us as your children through his sacrifice on the cross. Let us not be ashamed of the gospel but let us worship in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.